Hey there everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. I hope you guys are doing awesome. So today we are going to solve the fourth problem from the Lead Code Weekly Contest 221. This is a hard problem and it's always the medium or the hard problem which actually teaches you something. So I'm covering these problems only. So in this problem we will be exposed to a very new concept. So let us go through the problem statement and try to understand what the question says. So you are given an array nums consisting of non-negative integers and you are also given a queries array where the query i is an array of two numbers xi and mi the answer to the ith query is the maximum bitwise zor value of xi and all the elements of nums which are smaller than or equal to mi we have to find the zor with all those numbers in our array and we have to return the maximum zor with the xi in other words the answer is the maximum of nums of j zor xi for all the j such that nums of j is smaller than or equal to mi if all the numbers in the nums are larger than mi, then we have to return minus 1 for this for this particular query. Now, written in array answer. So, the size of the array answer will be the size of the query array. That's for sure. So, one way is to simply brute force it using n square. Of course, because uh, for each of the query, uh, it is actually going to be the size of a query array multiplied by size of the nums array that will be the complexity of the solution so we will be going to all the numbers in the nums and then we will compare all the numbers with mi which is given to us if that number is smaller than or equal to mi then we will try taking zor of that number with xi and we will maximize the answer so this will be an n square or m into n solution so the size are given as same so it will be n square solution and it will give us tle because it will be 10 raised to the power 5 now we will look at another concept so a few of you who are already following my comparative programming playlist must know this concept beforehand and there's just a slight change in that so the concept that we are going to use here is binary try so basically what a binary try is let me try to explain this with the help of an example so let's say another question is uh, given an array of nums so let us say this is the array which is given to us one two three and four the size of the array is four now we have to find a pair which pair gives us the maximum zor we have to return that so let us first convert them to their binaries in c++ every integer is represented using 32 bits but here for the sake of simplicity we are using only uh, let's say 3 bits so it will be 0 0 1 0 1 0 it will be 0 1 1 and it will be 1 0 0 all right so the pair which gives us the maximum zor will be i think this pair is going to be one one and one i hope you guys already know what a zor is so basically zor of zero and one is one zor of one and zero is one so basically if two bits are different then their zor is going to be one if two bits are same then their zor will be zero if uh, the parity of both the bits is opposite then the zor is 1 so in this case we are taking the bit by zor at this position it is 1 here it is 0 here that is why it is 1 at this position it is 1 and 0 that is why it is 1 and here it is 0 and 1 and it is 1 all right so the zor of two numbers two same numbers that is x zor x is going to be 0 why so let's say if x is 3 then it is 1 0 1 is 0 1 1 and zor of 0 1 1 with 0 1 1 at each bit is going to give us 0 as the parity of all the bits are same okay so this is the answer uh, this is actually equal to 7 now we can do this using n square as we saw so we can do this efficiently if we make a try of all the bits let's say we have a try here so if this is the try this is the starting node of the try the left side denotes 0 and the right side denotes 1. And let us say we are inserting the number 1 into the try. And we will start from the most significant position. You will look why we are starting from the most significant position in a moment. So it is 0. So that is why we are going to the left side. Okay. We are going to the left side and creating a node. 0 here. Then the next number is 0. As there is no 0 here, then again we are going to the left side come here then it is 0 again then we have a 1 so we will be going to right side then the next number is 2 so we have to insert 
2 into the try so the first bit is 0 if we already have a 0 we won't make a new node as we do in the ordinary try then we come to this particular node and from here it is 1 and there is no 1 so we are creating 1 on the right side basically the left is 0 and the right is 1 and then we have a 0 to the left side the next number is 3 the first bit is 0 then the first bit is 0 that is why we are coming at this position then the next bit is 1 we are coming at this position and then the next bit is 1 so we will come at this position so this is 3 this is 1 this is 0 this is 1 this is 1 okay and then the next number is 4 so in order to make 4 the first bit is 1 so we will be going to the right then the next bit is 0 left then the next bit is 0 left 0 0 and 1 so this is our final try and if we compare this with each of the numbers now let us say we want to uh, find the pair so we will be taking the ZOR of 1 with all the numbers so so instead of going to each number one by one we can directly search on this try so if you want to maximize the ZOR of 1 we will be searching a number such that the number is as close to this number 1 1 and 0 now we want the bits to be of opposite parity so first of all we will search that if the first bit is 1 because first bit of 0 is uh, 0 looking from the most significant side because we are going greedy in this so we will see if there is a number which have the first bit as 1 so we can go to the right side as there is a number which have the bit as 1 then coming to the next bit the next bit of 1 is 0 then we will again search a 1 here but we are not able to find a 1 so we will compromise it and we will go to the left side so we will come at this position then we will come to the third bit of 1 that is 1 and we will search for a 0 and we are able to get a 0 here that is why we will come here so the final number that we obtained is 1 0 0 that is 4 and when we do the ZOR of 1 and 4 it is going to give us 1 0 1 that is 5 so if we are going to take the ZOR of 1 with all the numbers the maximum that we can obtain is 5 and we got this using a search on this try the complexity of this is much better than going to all the elements one by one so the complexity of this would be the height of this the height of the try and the height of the try at max it could be 32 because we are having 32 bit integers in C++ so this is much better than this the complexity is uh, 32 into the number of elements which are there inside this instead of n square we reached this complexity and is much better than this okay so now as we understand the concept of bit try if you are not able to understand it you can go and watch the complete video on bit try where we have solved the example problems as well so the link will be in the description those who are new to this concept must go there and watch the complete video okay so now we almost understood the concept of bit try now we will be able to make a search on this now let's see what modifications do we have to make in order to solve this problem so we are given queries and we have given this number so let's say if we are coming at a specific query then we will have to look for those numbers which are smaller than the given number mi and then we will have to take the ZOR of xi with all those numbers so I think if we sort nums and if we sort these queries then it will be much efficient to make the try as we go to each of the queries what I am trying to say is uh, let us say if this is the sorted array after sorting we have the array like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is the nums array and after sorting the queries so we are sorting the queries according to the MI which is given to us so let us say the first MI is 3 and XI is let us say this is XI let it be XI this XI let this be X1 then this is X2 and it is 5 we are sorting on the basis of MI this is X3 and it is 7 now as we come to the first query we can insert into our try these three numbers because these three numbers are smaller than the given MI smaller than or equal to okay so we make a try using these now the next query is this one so as we are coming on this query the limit is now 5 we have already covered up to this point we have already inserted these elements into our, into our try structure now we will be inserting more elements 
so we will insert 4 and we will insert 5 these two elements into our try and then we will make a search in our try so that we can find the uh, maximum ZOR with 5 then the next limit is 7 so we will be inserting this as well into the try and the number 7 as well into the try and on the final structure that we obtained after inserting all these numbers we are going to search for the maximum ZOR with 7 I hope you understand what I am trying to say so this the binary representation of 3 is 0 1 1 here it is 1 1 1 4 7 and it is 1 0 1 4 5 so the number that we are going to search into a try will be as close to 1 0 0 as possible here the number that we will searching that we will be searching in our try is going to be close to 0 for this 1 for this 0 and here it is going to be as close to triple 0 that is 0 so the try structure is basically used here for searching these numbers if these numbers they exist or if a number close to them exists or not so that it can return the maximum ZOR with XI so I, I hope you understand the concept and if you want me to code it out you can continue watching the video I'm not going to write the entire code for the binary try if you want a code walkthrough of the binary try then you can go to the video which I have provided in the description there's a complete video on the code as well as the implementation of this binary try and there are example questions solved as well so this is the code this is the try structure it's having a left child for 0 and the right child for 1 then we have an insert so we are inserting from the most significant bit because that is the bit that is going to give us the maximum value so we are inserting the number from the most significant bit into our try and this is a function which is used to find so everything is uh, explained in detail in the video which I have provided in the description you can go through it so here we are sorting the queries and here we are sorting the nums which is given to us nums array also uh, when we sort the queries it is going to disturb the positions so how are we going to find the answer for the ith query if they are sorted so for that I'm keeping another variable I'm actually changing the size of these elements which are inside the query I'm just pushing back this i so that I can get I can keep track of the mm, the number of the query that we are processing. So now we are going to each of the queries one by one. We are inserting all the elements which are smaller than m i till this point. For that I'm keeping a variable i. I will start i from zero. Then I will go till the point where the num i is smaller than or equal to a of one, which is the m i, which is uh, of the current query. And as soon as it is out of the range, we are going to break out of this loop and we are going to calculate the answer, the ZOR of XI with the current try structure obtained till this point. Finally, return the answer. Now, sorting is going to take n log n here. And then we are going to each of the query, it is going to take big O of n. For all the queries, we are only traversing the array nums from i is equal to 0 till num sort size. Over all the queries, we are doing this. So the amortized complexity is going to be big O of n for the entire loop. Again, uh, if we consider this insertion and this search operation here, this is going to be log n, where, uh, where it could be at, at max 32. You can see the overall complexity becomes n log of int max, where, uh, where int max, log of int max can give us 32. So it could be big O of uh, 32n in total. We are using extra space here extra spaces used to insert the try so this is it for the solution and if you want more such content in the future do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notifications to the latest videos thank you